Red shirt protesters took a break from the long running rallies and demonstrations for the start of the Thai New Year holiday, Songkran. Just days ago, Bangkok's popular tourist area, the Khao San Road, was the scene of some of the bloodiest clashes between the army and protesters. Now it was locals and tourists who fought good natured battles throughout the day with water pistols. Throughout the country, people spend the three day festival trying to soak each other with water to mark the new lunar year in Thailand. The celebrations come as Thailand's coalition government teetered after the election commission ordered the ruling party be dissolved for allegedly concealing campaign donations. A final decision on whether the Democratic Party should be dissolved, however, rests with the Constitutional Court. No date has been set to hear the case. The standoff between the Red Shirts and the government turned deadly when troops tried to drive away a large number of protesters in Bangkok, resulting in clashes that left 21 people dead, Thailand's worst political violence in nearly two decades. Seeing fellow red shirts die like that made me feel that it wouldn't be fun to go back to celebrate Songkran at home. I would rather stay and fight for democracy. We have to defeat this evil government. We have to make the world understand justice and the double standards here. The current Thai government suffered another blow when the army chief general told reporters that dissolving parliament and calling new elections might resolve the country's political crisis. The army chief was until now seen as a staunch backer of Prime Minister Abbasist. The apparent about face puts Abbasist under renewed pressure, given that the army is an influential force in the country's politics and has not hesitated to stage coups during previous bouts of political instability.